Well, in the last video I did here in my home, I took you guys through my living room as part of the bunker challenge, which was created by George of the Antique Nomad, um, where a lot of resellers are participating in showing off their collections and showing off their houses and how they've displayed things. And so, in today's video, going to take you through my dining room because we already did the living room and now it's time to show you my dining room so a lot of the stuff in my dining room is just like my living room it is second hand it is stuff that i have thrifted and so i'm going to take you through and i'm going to show you and we are going to go through my dining room here we go so this is our dining room it's not all that exciting i feel like it's not as exciting as our living room but we're going to go through it little by little uh, this is our dining room table and chairs. Uh, the chairs are Gunlock. That's the company that makes them. And they are actually desirable as far as mid-century modern decor goes. Uh, they are, as you can see, they have the mid-century modern form. They're really nice chairs. Uh, I actually purchased them back way before Crazy Lamp Lady. I purchased a whole bunch of chairs. I got I want to say, how many do I have here? I, I got 10 of these Gunlock chairs, and then I also got nine Sykes Jury courtroom chairs, and I sold off all the courtroom chairs, and they paid for these Gunlock chairs, and I had them at my old house, but when I moved, my ex-husband wanted four of the chairs, um, not because they're super valuable, but because he needed kitchen chairs, um, so he actually has four four of the chairs and I've got six of them. So uh, I would love to have all of them, but I really only need six. So it works. Um, they actually match the table that I have. Uh, we got the table off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, like I mentioned in our last video, we didn't have a whole lot of money coming into this move. Um, so we were just trying to, you know, like the couch that we've only paid 500 for, we were just kind of trying to furnish the place without spending a whole lot of money. Uh, so this table right here was $40 on Facebook Marketplace and it was listed as grandma's kitchen table. So the funny thing about it being listed as grandma's kitchen table is that I had told Andrew I was going to furnish and decorate this house so that it looks like grandma's house. And he was so against the idea of me decorating the house like grandma's house. So as soon as I saw this Facebook listing for grandma's kitchen table, I knew I had to have it. So $40 later, we had grandma's kitchen, kitchen table as our dining room table. Now we bought it with the scuffs and the imperfections but I've got a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old and I figured, you know what? It's just gonna keep getting scratched up and eventually someday I can refinish that. So what's cool about this table is that there is no leaf in the center. It has these on the edge and they actually are spring, spring loaded and they, they go down and they slide under. So, so they actually, it does condense, but that's how it works. They actually slide underneath. So that's cool. But yes, our table was $40. The chairs, I guess you could say were free because I already had them and they already paid for themselves. So we've got that. We've got Astrid over here making lots of noise. She's very happy and talking. Yes, you are. Uh, here, you guys may remember this. I bought this at an antique shop on our way to Texas. I think we were in Virginia when I bought this. Um, I actually had this hanging up above the buffet and the glare from it uh, was so bad that you couldn't even see the image inside of the, the frame. And so I took it down and we had it set aside to take over to the shop and Walter accidentally bumped it and broke all of the glass. And he thought I was gonna be really mad and I just kind of looked at it and thought, you know, I really like the glass anyway because you couldn't see what was in the picture. So, uh, you know, it kind of worked out a little bit. So um, the frame is super bowed. That's why it was only $50 when I bought it. But I just, I absolutely love that frame, but it is going over to the shop. I'm ready to get rid of it. Um, I fell in love with it when I found it and it just doesn't jive here. So it is time to say farewell. Okay. 
Um, this is a Royal Hager planter, and I got that at St. Vincent's in Hanover. So here we have this horse sculpture. Um, I'm not really sure why I have it, but I do. Um, I've never actually ridden a horse, I don't think, but I saw it at the antique shop, uh, Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne, and I thought that's outstanding, and that's really large, and I think that I need a horse sculpture that large. And so I've had it ever since, and I don't really know why, because I, I don't do much with horses, but I just thought it was great. Uh, this piece, oh, this is great. Here, I actually had a friend in the metal detecting community make this for me. Uh, he, actually did, he was doing the pyrography for wood burning, and uh, I think he signed it in there. Yeah, he did. And he actually made this hobo nickel. So he made that. I can't, oh yeah, that's just that side. But yeah, he did that. So I have that in the window because I just thought that was really neat. He burnt that into it. So. All right, let's move on. Oh, I've got the uh, the Blanco Owls up in the window. I have the two clear ones and I have the amber one and I'm always looking to collect more of them. But I have, that's my collection so far. They fit perfectly up there. So I need more. Um, here we've got a few of my favorite things. Uh, we've got another Hager lamp here. This is one that I purchased off of eBay. It needed a serious repair. It was in really bad shape. Um, as you can see, the shade still is not quite like straight. I mean, it doesn't really bother me much. I feel like it's okay to be a little bit crooked and it's got the original finium there. So I've actually got two more giraffe lamps up in my bedroom uh, and they are brown, but they're the same as this one. Uh, this is a Hager piece. This is called the Eve. Um, it's a Hager Eve design. I believe it was one of their very first designs and that's why they call it the Eve design. But that glaze, I guess, is a pretty desirable glaze. So I still have that piece. Um, we've got this one, that purse that John let me keep. I'm still afraid to use it, but I absolutely love it. And I will put the artist's name down below if you want to go check her out on Instagram. She makes some fantastic stuff. Um, I think, oh, we've got this. I still haven't decided what to do with this. Um, I don't know if I want to sell it or keep it. It's pretty amazing. I forget who makes this. Yeah, Bennington. Bennington Potteries. I just love it, and I don't know. I don't know what purpose it would serve other than just to have it. So stuff like that, usually it's worth letting go. Um, over here, I still have this cellos piece. I need to get rid of it. I had intended to sell it. The only reason I still have it is because of the economy. I feel like now probably wasn't a good time to let it go because they typically sell upwards of, well, the last one sold for 700. I wouldn't expect to get 700, but I would expect to get a couple hundred, and I feel like now is just not the right time to sell it or let it go, because it is an original. And uh, I think it's a colored etching is what I was reading, so. And it, it is, if you touch it and you pull your fingers back, it leaves a residue, it leaves the color on your fingers. So it just stays here, it lives here. I have to find a safer place for it, but right now this is the safest place for it. Um, we took it out of the glass because I forget why, but there was a reason we took it out of the glass. So I have to do something with this. I have to figure out what to do with this. But it's not staying, that doesn't belong here. Uh, this right here, this is a Weller uh, flower pot jardinier. Uh, it is the seagulls. There is a crack on it. I actually bought this from Paul, I think when I was with Juliet at Bedford Street Antiques. But I just, I love the Weller designs, so I held on to that piece. It lived in the other window for a little while and then I replaced it with glass. Uh, we have the Blanco water pitcher. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> Juliet's gumball machine ended up in the window. And then this. 
This was one of the first gifts I ever gave to Andrew because I didn't really know what to gift him. And I was like, you know, he's a smoker. I'm sure he would love an ashtray shaped like a cobra. And it's just kind of been our joke throughout our entire relationship. It's, it's frightening, really. I bought this from Paul too. <laughs> this was Paul's, this, this was Paul's fault. <laughs> it just looks so real and lifelike. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I bet Andrew would think that's cool too. It just didn't go over that well. It really didn't. Um, Andrew gave me this on Valentine's Day. But also this is a picture of the Haunt Her house. If you saw that video, uh, that was just such a creepy, weird story because we were at the antique shop and I saw it that day and it was Halloween. And, and we were there in the booth and we, I saw it and I made a joke like, oh, I'd love to go metal detecting at that house. And later that night I was scrolling through Facebook randomly and this house showed up like a real life photograph of this house came across my feed for no reason at all. And I was looking at the house and I'm like, that's the one from the painting. It was so weird. So Andrew wanted to go back and buy the house because it turns out it's the Hans Her house and he is related to Hans Her. So it, it was just this really creepy thing. So now it hangs in our house. It's probably haunted. It's really creepy. And this right here is my console, my buffet that I purchased off of Overstock. This is not secondhand. This is not purchased off a thrift store. It has very mid-century modern lines, but it is not old. I actually bought it because it matches my TV stand and I was looking for a buffet or something to put behind the table uh, to store our china and whatnot and uh, it matched. So I decided that I was going to buy it. So this is probably one of the only pieces in here besides the rug, um, because that was also overstock. Uh, that is not secondhand, but I just love these pieces. I love the, sh I love the design of them, so. And they're pretty sturdy. They're really sturdy. They're pretty well made. Uh, this octopus style vase, I believe, is Polish. This was a gift from one of our viewers, uh, Trisha. I absolutely love that piece. I just love the shape of it. And then, of course, we've got the, the small little bud vases. We've got some of the carnival. I bought this from my friend Aunt Mary. It has the original sticker on it. Um, but I've got my metal detecting vines stashed in there. <laughs> my Atterbury Owl that I used as a, as a prop in one of my recent videos. I've got the flower crown that Sam gave me uh, for my last birthday, I think it was. And my Fox fairy lamp. I uh, bought this George's Thunderbird Salvage. Absolutely love that owl. And we've got down here. We've got a soup tureen. I absolutely love that thing. Someday I'm going to make up an excuse to put soup in it because we've never actually used it. Uh, we've got my crystal fox there. And this little guy, Andrew could tell you about him. He was also a gift. And I believe that he is, um, I forget, is he a tusk of some sort? Um, walrus tusk? I know he's an Eskimo piece from the 1920s, I think. Billiken, maybe, was the name of it? I don't know. Andrew did the research on that, but I just, I thought he was kind of cute, so <laughs> I put him there. Um, the stuff down there we've just kind of stashed. That's the stuff that nobody sees in the videos. Uh, this is this uh, Egyptian revival stuff. We got that from Eric long before Eric knew us, and we went to go to his booth, and we were picking stuff out and he, he was amazed. He's like, I can't believe that stuff didn't go sooner that nobody saw that or that nobody, cause it's just fantastic. It's this enamel Egyptian revival set. Um, we've never used it. And I'm thinking, you know what? We held on to it because we loved it so much. But after a while of not using it, it's, you know, that's when it becomes time to let it go. So we have that. <laughs> I've got my pig that I got at the Goodwill. A lot of you see him in the videos. I got him at Goodwill in Hanover. I absolutely love him. He just is like happy, happy vibes. He's like this happy pig giving off happy vibes and so he lives here. I've got one of my lamps. I can't remember where I got this one, but I am obsessed with the lamps that have 
the jadeite glass inserts. I have quite the collection throughout the house. I think this is the only one I have in this first floor living space. Um, this East Lake chair. It's one of our first Crazy Lamp Lady videos. I got this. Um, I'm almost to the point of letting this go, believe it or not, just because the seat is still is no good. Nobody can sit in this chair. And because nobody can sit in it, it just kind of collects stuff. Obviously, there's a laptop thing staying on it. But it just it just kind of collects stuff because nobody can sit on it. And or if somebody doesn't realize they can't sit on it and they sit on it and I'm just waiting for them to fall through. It's just it needs to go to somebody who can have the time to to do something with it and, and re replace the um I forget what they're called, but the bottom just needs to be reinforced because there's nothing supporting the bottom. All right, so this is my china cabinet. I think I've shown you guys this before. Hey girl, ooh, you get to play with the door. He's like, I'm just gonna look through the door. Look at that. Hello, birdie. Ooh. All right, so this is my china cabinet. It's kind of filled with just odds and ends and some of my favorite things, things that I've collected over the years. Um, I guess we'll start down on the first shelf. This is from my, from my friend Brian, one of my metal detecting friends. He gifted this to me. I believe it's an Egyptian little perfume bottle. What does it say on the bottom? Oh, it says Murano. It's from Murano. Super thin though. It reminds me of the Egyptian little bottles. Uh, this was from John because I'm always buying him these like hideous weird things. He decided that he was going to gift me this <laughs> and he bought it off of Etsy. I'll have to ask him where he got it off of Etsy because it's just fun. But that's where he got that. Uh, a lot of these little Fenton bears, again, these were my, I talked to, you know, about it a little bit in yesterday's video in my living room. A lot of these figurines that you're seeing, these Fenton figurines, these were my great aunts. And before that, they were my great grandmothers. Uh, when she, my, my great aunt passed away, my mom's cousin went in and just kind of sold everything. And uh, this is what I've, I've got of my great aunt and my great grandmother. So, got this piece. I don't know where that one came from. Um, but, oh, this was from this was from Randy Romines, and they actually bought it through Jeffrey Real Nifty Vintage, and they know I love owls, so keep him in here. And, oh, this was Juliet's when she was a baby. I keep this in here. This was uh, this was her little amber necklace that she used to wear when she was a baby. So that's in there. I got this at the thrift shop. I don't know. I forget what that's made of. It's not silver, but it's in there too. I got a fairy lamp. Uh, some more. I, this piece, this set I absolutely love, but unfortunately it only has one glass. And can you see? Lots of little figurines, metal detecting finds. That I, I These are literally all over the house because I just stash them in various places. I'm, I'm not like Andrew, I'm not organized and displaying them. I just stash them places and then I find them and I'm like, oh, I remember when I found that. I know where I found that. <laughs> this I got at a yard sale. This is a bridesmaid. Um, that is spent in its Burmese glass. Uh, let's see up here. Little puppy dog. That was a gift as well. That was a gift from a viewer. And oh, this was a gift from Andrew's parents. Andrew's dad gave me this. This was an early spaghetti dog. He knows I collect spaghetti dogs, so he gave me this. But yeah, so that's everything in this china cabinet. And the china cabinet came from Paul. Oh, look. Andrew's home. I come bearing stuff. Oh, stuff. Metal detecting stuff. Yes, I have to deliver some stuff later this week. Okay. So. Well, I was just wrapping up the dining room video. Cool. Cool. And this is Hager, who everybody has met. He loves to talk. And we call him the feather dog. 
Because that's what you are. You are a feather dog. You want to come here? Come here. Feather dog. Yeah, it's you. Feather dog. Astra doesn't do that. She just tries to bite me. We're still working with her. We're still working with you. If I put my finger out to you, you would bite me. But you're sweet sometimes. Just not right now. <laughs> oh, boy. So I think that pretty much sums up our dining room video. Make sure you go check out some of the other videos for the bunker challenge. I believe George put together a playlist and I will try to link that down below. Um, like I said, there was a lot of other resellers putting out home tour videos and talking about their bunker. And so um, I will try to link that if I can find it. Yeah, they got to see your house. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, you're going for my necklace. And you accidentally got my face. What? You got my face when you were trying to get the necklace. Silly bird. Um, okay, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that dining room tour. Um, I think Hager enjoyed it. He enjoyed having you here. <laughs> but on that note, I am going to end this video. And uh, I might go make some chai. It's raining and it's yucky out. Oh, there's Daddy. Well, no, he's just, I don't, don't want to go to Daddy. <laughs> run, Hagee, run! <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. This is the dining room. I'm picking up the table today. I've got a 1940s table and I have some gunlock chairs to go with it. Some 1950s chairs. That's going to go right in the middle here. Super excited about that. I've got my Art Deco China cabinet that got a little scuffed in the moving process. So I'm gonna have to polish that a little. I'm kind of bummed about that. But all my glassware is gonna go back in there. I gotta clean the glass and get all the marks off of it. All right, let's keep going. And here we've got our sun porch. This is the kitchen. The kitchen isn't my favorite. I don't like the wood paneling. I feel like I can distract from the wood paneling. I think I'm gonna put some antique mid-century vases up there, some really high ones, and maybe some lighting to like distract people from the fact that there's wood paneling. <laughs> <laughs>